night. He hit a floater off the glass to beat the Raptors and give the Cavs a 3-0 series lead. LeBron finished with 38 points on the night. We're joined by FS1 NBA analyst Chris Bissar. Welcome, Chris. Good Thank morning. You. Good morning. Good morning. Chris, how impressive morning, was the shot? Um, great shot. I mean, tremendous shot. And Skip, we've talked before about how most of LeBron's buzzer beaters had been when you, you can't think about it, you just kind of react. You catch and shoot, you catch and react. Um, he's a guy that is a thinker, and sometimes you can overthink if you're, if you're that type of person. This one, though, he had time to think, obviously. I mean, he took it full court. And what I loved is he shot it with so much confidence, like you knew it was going in. It, it obviously was a beautiful shot going off one foot. I think he meant to go glass softly, the follow through. Like, bet it. I incredible, incredible Him dunking shot. It. And I think one thing that has taken LeBron this year, at least offensively, to maybe the highest level he's been, is it looks like his mental toughness, he's always been, you know, a smart player, but his mental toughness, I believe, is now caught up with his physical toughness mm -hmm. and he's thinking the game well in the clutch he's he's ready he's there makes the right play makes the shots um one thing i'll say about it though and rob parker we did our radio show yesterday the odd couple he brought up a point that was a good one it's true this was a great shot i believe it was clutch i'm not sure rob does not sure skip does <laughs> i saw your tweet though um and but it was not the ultimate challenge because it was tied. Not saying it wasn't a great shot, but it, if you if you miss, you go to overtime. Mm -hmm. So that is a different situation. He has made shots like that. His first two buzzer beaters in the playoffs came in that situation where they were down. So that is a little bit especially the Orlando Orlando and Indiana big. when he was in Miami. So he's done it before. This was a great shot, but that's the ultimate. When if you lose, yep. you go home. You see, LeBron can never win because we keep changing the rules of the game. Because every time he scores, we change the rule and say, okay, now the we take all, the Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Now, I've never, ever heard when Michael Jordan hit a buzzer beater, them say, anybody say the game was tied. Because they weren't tied. So he, never, so he never hit a buzzer beater. I'm saying the, no, no, the, no, no, the, I'm two, not. the two, his two I. First of all, I'm not taking anything from LeBron. You just, just did. No, I didn't. Yes, you minimized it's it. Not, no, I didn't. It's not the ultimate shot, Shannon. You know the that. Ultimate the shot ultimate is shot is when you are down. You see what you did? Now, you oh. and you brought up Michael Jordan. His two iconic shots, they were down. And if you lose, not Utah. I could minimize Utah a little because Cleveland, you lose, you go home. Utah, they lose, there's a game seven. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, it's not. It's just saying there's levels. That's all I'm saying. But, I think any but, but anybody that, would admit that. But that's the narrative. If you see, first of all, who's gonna close for LeBron now that Kyrie's gone? Okay, he closes the game, and so now we got a hedge. You see, there was this was not life or death because they were there. If they if he misses the shot, they go to overtime. Okay, what happens when he hit the shot that tied it on the other night, the game one? Agreed, Toronto. But you, but yep. you, you didn't mention that. You gave him no credit for that. He missed that shot. What happened? Who didn't? LeBron. Not me. I, I gave him credit. So Ty 105. You could argue that was a bigger shot. But you could argue that because you're right. You, you missed that shot. Yeah. You lose that game. I just want to know when did we start with the narrative? We've seen guys so many times hit a shot when the game is tied. They win the game. We give them credit for hitting the shot. Now with LeBron, we got to parse everything. The game, it was still this many times, this much second on the clock. It was the first round. It was the second round. Well, if he missed the shot, the worst thing that could happen to go to overtime. We never do that. When Tom Brady sits the guy out for a game time for a game winning field goal in the game tied, doesn't nobody say, well, Tom had an easy job because of No. We just give the guy credit. At some point in time, we gotta say, you know what? LeBron James is great. He's clutch and leave it at that. But that's not what we do, LeBron. Mm. He's the only superstar mm. that we do that with, is that we parse everything that he does to try to minimize his greatness. You can't. You mm. said he wasn't clutch, he's clutch. You said, okay, let's do, instead of what he did in Minnesota, that's the regular season. He do it in game one, oh, that's game mm. one. Michael Jordan shot over Craig Elo, happened in what round, Chris Broussard? First game round. one, okay. He does, not only does, Skip said it when he hit that game, went over Indy, he hadn't had one in three years. 
Now he's had one in two weeks. And now we're talking about at the point of the game. The game was tied. At some point, mm. at some point, you're going to say this is the rules. If the guy hits a game-winning shot, they win the game, you says he's clutch. Mm. We got to stop trying to divide it up where mm. they weren't down one. They weren't down two. The worst that could have happened. Mm. At some point, he, got, he gets to play by the same rules mm. all the other all-time greats have played by. Mm. And we have yet to judge him <laughs> by that standard. Shannon Sharp, we are sorry that the facts are getting in the way of your goat mask, but they're getting in the way. No. We're talking about degrees of difficulty. It's, that's all we're saying. Back to the top of this debate. Again, the only good thing I can say about the shot that he made Saturday night was it went in. I give you that. I can't take anything away from you, but I, I got ahead of this. If you look at my Twitter timeline, I wanted to see him, for once in his life, just attack the rim. They had taken Ibaka out of the game. I don't know why. He can block shots because he had blocked four already in that game yes. on Saturday night. There's no Ibaka. There's no DeMar DeRozan, who had just sort of gone in the tank, and Dwayne Casey had said, you're not playing anymore in this basketball game. So there are two really good defenders who are not on the floor. And all of a sudden, Dwayne Casey says in the huddle, Let's let's take the ball out of LeBron's hands. But touche, Ty Lue finally made a head coaching decision. It was absolutely brilliant. It's like simplistically brilliant because I wouldn't have thought of it. Let's just take the ball full court. I said, full say, what? Court? why are you wow. taking the ball up full court? Okay. Advantage beast of the East yep. because if you let LeBron get up ahead of full steam, mm -hmm. running the court like Gronkowski, except he's faster than Gronkowski, <laughs> and he is being guarded by a rookie. OG Anunoby is Good no defender, he, though. He's no OG yet. Yo, he he may be no yeah, Sunday. He, he no might OG. be an OG, but he ain't <laughs> one yet. <laughs> he's the 23rd overall pick in the draft, which is late first round, and he is he, he's he learning is. by the dribble. He's mm -hmm. getting better. But the, he's never been in this situation against this guy. And Siakam was supposed to come and double, but he's like a second year player and he's still learning basketball, and he's like, Wait, am I supposed to do it full court? So he just lets LeBron escape. Correct. And here he comes. Yes. So he's got exactly what I tweeted right before his very eyes. The super highway to the basket has opened. There's no Iblaka standing under the basket. And LeBron has a step on Anunoby with the right hand. And again, he's not known for going right in these situations. But I'm thinking he is just going to power down the lane, and I believe he could have walked off dunked it. I just believe it. I don't, somebody might have come to challenge him, but I'm not sure about that. Well, uh, uh, Kyle Lowry had uh, come over. But here's the thing. Let's Kyle just say, Lowry? But let's just say Seriously? for sake of argument. He goes all the way to the basket. Kyle Lowry picks the charge up. What's everybody going to say, Chris? Why not pull up and shoot the jump shot? The thing, what made this, the shot so hard, he's going full. And this is the way you want him to go. You want him to go left-handed. and well, He likes okay. going left. He does. Allow me to finish. Go ahead. I'm going to quote the great LeBron James after the game. The level of difficulty on that shot was extremely difficult. Don't try this at home. Right. That sums up my case against this shot. He picked the single hardest shot you could have picked on the floor at that point. He's running left. He's shying from the basket. He's got a Nunaby still on him, and he's going full speed to the baseline and goes up off one foot and shoots a one-handed leaner, Yes. going full speed the wrong yes. way. And I'm still not sure he tried. I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the you doubt, but I'm not he, sure. Like I'm not it. It sure. Like I'll tell confidence. you why. But the, the, ba the, the backboard has almost disappeared at that point because you're going full speed to the baseline. There's not much well, he, backboard that, that left. Go. But here's the There's thing. not much. And you got to barely tick kiss it. Kiss you know, it. just yeah. barely tick a little bit of the backboard to drop it in. And the odds are, you know and I know, if you're running that fast full speed, that your shot is going to lean left a little bit. So it might have been a little offline and it ticked the glass and went in, but I don't know. I'll give you the benefit. I, I, I'll say a few things about that. One, and I've talked to LeBron James about this over the years. He, he'll fool around in practice. And stuff. He is great at making these incredible these horse shots. Yeah, yeah, horse, exactly. That's the best way to put it, <laughs> horse shots. And that's what that, that was. was. A horse shot. That's what that okay, was. Why, why would you force yourself to take a horse shot? But with, I with also, the game I, on the I also line? think why, this. Why would you? Why wouldn't you just pull up and shoot a jumper? Why, why well, his what, jumper is going in, in this series. His jumper is going, and I also I think he's got great confidence in his jump shot at this point. 
And to your point, if he goes to the rim, now I think there's a difference in making the pass out of confidence, and I think that's the best play, right. versus I don't want the shot, right. let me give it up. Right. I okay. think if LeBron goes to the hole and a couple of defenders collapse, oh. He probably kicks it, kicks it. not yeah. out of fear, he but kick out of court. He's going to kick Lowry it. left his guy. Yeah, exactly. But Skip, I would Can we it. get to the elephant in the room? LeBron does not trust himself at the free throw line oh in goodness. late oh, game so playoff. Come on. Well, I could show he you the stat. Gave the ball up. He's got the single worst late game free throw shooting stat in playoff history. Well, you don't need to go to the free throw line okay. if you make the shot. Okay. So exactly. what, He what, may have given up the ball. Why hold the what, ball anyway? They could have found him on What, what had happened in this game? He made nine of his first nine. Then with 238 left, whoops, he missed one. Then with 31 seconds left, he missed another one. And the demons are starting in his back of his mind. And again, when Kyle Lowry made a layup to cut it to two with 19 seconds left, who ran to take the ball out of bounds? LeBron James. Why did he do that? High IQ. I don't want to catch it and get fouled. Well, hold on. If... <laughs> There are better free throw shooters on the Cavs than LeBron. Right. And if, if you're in that situation Jeff where Green you know they're in. going to foul, you want your best shooter. Now, I agree. Jeff Green's not. But that's not the first time LeBron's taking the ball out of bounds. Right. And it's just smart basketball that you get it to a, a okay, better So, time out. So, the GOAT, you've proclaimed him yes. the greatest player of all time. Yeah. You moved he, him up from he, three he, to one now. He does not want the ball in late game foul situations? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> oh, so you got to put your mask on because you don't want to speak. Here's because, the thing. Yeah. Because you know what I heard Saturday night? Kyle Corbin said LeBron James practices these shots every day. And Kyle says, I asked him what why. What about the free throw? Hold on, throw? Hold, on, hold, on, free hold, on hold on, let me, let me finish. Kyle Corbin says he practices these shots every day. And, he, and Kyle says, I asked him, why are you practicing these shots like this? You're never going to use it. Oh, lo and behold, the shots that he, we see him practice come to fruition. Mm. So you know what would have been clutch to me, and I tweeted that, this. So you saying that wasn't clutch? Okay. This would have been clutch to me. Take it to the basket, get hammered by three Raptors. Yeah, at three. Yeah, Wait a second. And then go to the free throw line and stand by yourself and just make one of two. One of two with no huge pressure because you have overtime as a fail-safe. You, you know, if you miss both of them, you get to go you to see what you did. Yeah, Let's be fair, though. And, and, and I disagree with Shannon. You know, I wasn't trying to minimize LeBron's shots. I was stating the fact. But to say that that shot wasn't clutch, okay, and to again, say why it would have been better than the highest degree of difficulty why shot go on the to court? the free throw line when well, you why, are a 75% If you're the foul greatest shooter. player ever, you can create a much better shot. That's a that. great shot. It looked good. It was one on one. It's a it terrible was, shot. It, 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 no, it, that was it's that terrible. was a great right. shot. And, and, and when, when Michael Jordan hit the shot of shots, the walk off. Why didn't he drive to the basket, Skip? Exactly. Why, why would LeBron James himself say the level of difficulty on that shot was extremely difficult? Because he's giving it, himself props. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's so, the bottom so, line. He's giving himself so, props. Yeah. I think he wanted to create the most difficult shot possible in case so if he, he missed, missed it, he it, could it, say, it, boy, that was hard. That's, that's not fair. <laughs> no, it is Cause, fair. Because you know what? Because, look. We can look at Michael Jordan's, the biggest, most iconic shot of his career. Legitimate we can look at that and say, you know hey. what? Hold on. He shoved no. Brian Russell no. out of the way. Am okay. I wrong? Yeah. This is a free throw line jump shot. Okay, is that when not he a... shoved Russell? I know he did. I mean, no, no, he did he, 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 he did not hold the post? Wait, was that a LeBron hard shot? Held the, there it is right there. Yeah, he held the post. Yeah. Ah. I mean, oh. we just got to be fair, so, man. So, wh which was higher degree of difficulty, LeBron's or Michael Jordan's? LeBron's. It was a free throw. LeBron. Michael created a free throw. Same situation on the run. But he shoved somebody to get it. He fought. He, he, the, the, nowadays, the NBA would have came out with yeah, but you know what? Review what, what, what like review. Those were the days when that they played men's foul. basketball. Yeah. It was a men's game. <laughs> Chris, well, I'm serious. Like it was. Was. You can run 15 miles an hour, mm -hmm. shoot the ball, falling out of bounds, mm -hmm. and kiss it off the backboard. How that many guys do you think can do that? That's a difficulty. Oh, Come on, that go. shot was tremendous. But, uh, yeah, but it, but it was, uh, what, 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 what was the point of it? Why would you need to the make it The point so was, I'm the only man oh, on earth yeah. that can make this shot. The point That's was, the point. if it misses, Give boy, me props, it really yeah. hard. That's the point. Yeah. In the words of Edda James, at last, my man is coming on. Now, she's we'll the go. We'll discuss that next. <laughs> I was told I was never pretty or beautiful when I was young.